of brothers and sisters, you know, by the grace of the Lord, uh, we have been talking about hearing from Elohim, God of heaven. And the first day, I mentioned a few ways you could hear from God. And the second day, instead of going on to speak about more he ways of hearing from God, I spoke about distractions and possible hindrances that prevent us from hearing from the Lord. And today, Instead of also speaking about more ways of hearing from God, let me introduce a third element so that we can have everything properly situated. And I want to talk here about benchmarks concerning the will of God. Benchmarks to know whether what you are hearing is it from the Lord or not. And this is important because a lot of people say they heard from God and God said, God said, do this, prophet said, do this. And when you really check it out there is something off the bible say try the spirits to see whether they're of god also there are benchmarks and those benchmarks there are three principal ones that are found in romans chapter 14 verse uh, uh 16 and 17 the kingdom of god is not meat and drink he says but it is righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit and from there, we take the three benchmarks. The benchmark is what you used to know whether something is indeed of the Lord or not. So let's take benchmark number one, right standing, righteousness. Righteousness is right standing with God or the merit of what Jesus did. If something is from God, then there'll be righteousness involved in doing that thing that you think he's saying. For instance, God does not sin. He will not require us to sin in order to do his will. No. God does not endorse sin or iniquity. He's a righteous God. If you hear something from the Lord and it will make you righteous, have right standing before God when you do it, you can say that's a green light that is from him. If that thing is going to lead you to sin, then God is not there. I mean, let's talk about young men and women. A young bull lady is thinking about marriage. Anything that comes to suggest to you, somebody proposes to you to say, God says I should marry you. And that person is not willing to wait, is not willing to go through the process in holiness. Remember the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, the marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. If somebody wants to defile you, you know, before he can marry you, then it's not from God. There's no righteousness there. Righteousness is critical as a benchmark to really know whether something is of God or not. Number two, it says peace, shalom, wellness, wholeness. One of the things Jesus gave to all of us is, is peace. He says, my peace I give unto you, not as the word gives. The peace of God is one that passes all understanding. That wholeness and wellness in the inside of you. Peace, somebody says, like a policeman. If you are contemplating something, if you think God asks you to do something and you don't have peace, you are confused, you are troubled, you can't sleep, you can't rest, check it out whether it's truly from God. Because if it's from God, it will bring with it peace inside of you. You have this wellness and wholeness. You have this profound peace which is a green light to go ahead so peace is like a green light in a traffic stop it says you can go the god's hand the hand of god is in this let's talk about the third one is joy joy in the holy ghost you see joy is not the same as happiness happiness is a soulish expression when you get some things when you attain some objectives you feel excited in your soul but Joy is not a soulish thing, it's a spirit man thing, it's spiritual. Joy is a fruit of the spirit. You know what? One of the fruit of the spirit is joy. And joy is a benchmark to know, to know what God is involved in. If God wants you to do something, that thing it tells you, it will bring joy into you. And we're told in Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10, the joy of the Lord is our strength. I want you to come reflect on these three things concerning the things you, you think the Lord is leading into, that business, that partnership, that marriage, that career move. Is God leading you or is flesh leading you or is even Satan trying to lead you? Are people trying to lead you? 
Is there righteousness? Is there peace? Is there joy? If these three things are not, if they are there, it's like green light, green light, green light, green light, go forward. If the three are not there and it's red light, red light, red light, stop. Don't go forward. If only one is there, green light, the others are amber light, don't go forward. If one is green, one is red, one is amber, don't go forward. Now, let's hold ourselves to these high standards of checking up what we think we're hearing. Is it of the Lord? If you apply these benchmarks, you would never fail. And brothers and sisters, I wish you the best. I wish you will catch this revelation. I wish that this series will bless you. And I'm going to talk about more ways to hear from God in another episode. But for now, I want us to get it. There are ways to hear from God. There are blockages or hindrances from hearing from God. And if you think you're hearing from God, don't just run off. Pass them through the benchmarks of righteousness, peace, and joy. And if they pass that test, you can go forward. Have a blessed day. The Lord bless you. Share the video. Encourage other people. And let's just get it right with these things so that we can hear the voice of the Lord. Say, my sheep, John 10, 27, hear my voice. Let's hear his voice. Let's know his will. Let's be led by his spirit in all things. Have a blessed day. And listen, there is prayer today. The Global Prayer and Spiritual Cabinet by 4 o'clock UK time. Join the saints to pray. Contact of Evangelist Norbert Ekogo, and by the grace of God, you can get on the Zoom and be part of this prayer today, every last Saturday of the month. Have a blessed day. We love you. Bye bye. Thank you so much for being with us on this program and watching. And we believe you learned something, and the Lord bless you. Now it's time to connect with us on our social media platforms. We have a daily live stream on Facebook Monday all the way to Sunday, every day, by about 10.30 a.m. UK time. And that's the same at Nigerian time. And you, it's either Apostle George, Monday to Friday, uh, to Thursday, Pastor Grace, uh, Friday to Sunday. And then in the evening of Sunday, we have two sessions from 5.30 to about 6, after 6, another one up to 7. So please join us on the live stream and you're going to enjoy it. We also visit our website www.gsom.ac to download free ebooks. This course you just listened to, all these lessons, you know, there's an ebook we have free of charge. Everything we do is free. But more importantly, you can actually do your program on, you know, ebooks. You can do your program entirely on ebooks and with this video or anyone you want you can also if you want to do the yes course or be, do the master class you can go to www.kingdomboostclub.com and you can subscribe so that you can do it you can also subscribe to our channels this youtube gsom.tv and we also have a telegram channel gsom media you can send us an email at akclife.tv at gmail.com we love you dearly and we want to partner with you to make sure that the body of Yeshua, Jesus, is empowered with truth. Remember, it is the teach, train, equip, activate, and release paradigm. Absolutely free of charge. Have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon.